Greetings and welcome back, survivors, to Fort Hagen and to Not Sanctuary, as I had planned. Now, in this episode, we are going to be making our way out to Fort Hagen and probably across the Sanctuary. However, the reason I haven't done this off camera is because I received a few comments that expressed alarm at the idea that I might not record my leaving Fort Hagen. So, in as least spoilerific a way as possible, a few people have keyed me into the fact that I will probably really want to be recording when I leave. So, I've gone to the effort of dropping off a, like, a remarkable amount of stuff that I was carrying. Nick is currently carrying quite a few of the really choice items that I found, but there's a huge amount of stuff in there that I really do want to come back for at some point. But we are now going to leave on camera and hopefully we're gonna find out what it was that uh, I was definitely meant to check out hmm. Nick I know I just spent like the last 10 minutes sorting out our inventories but it's wonder glue and duct tape and a silver own. watch I can't leave those behind also buff out popular okay yes I've got a problem give me a break right into the elevator we go you coming along Nick Oh, thank goodness, someone who actually does walk in with me. Going up. So, what do you think? Nick? Ah! Seriously? Green lighting as well? Those yet? Is this where you suck up my soul? Nick, I've got a combat shotgun and I will use it. I just want you to know this. Roof access. Oh, and was... I see. I threaten you with death. Suddenly, no more crazy magics. I... I'm starting to have my doubts about you, Nick. I've got to be honest with you. Right, okay. Now, the other thing that I wanted to mention regarding the uh, the comments. One of them was a little bit spoilery. Now, I'm going to preface this with... I'm, I have no, no doubt that it was made with the very best of intentions. And I do want to thank everyone who, who tried to warn me. Don't go outside unless you're recording. Um, one person made mention of a name. Now, I... In an effort not to spoil it for anyone else, I'm not going to reference that name until it's referenced in the game. But it has given me certain expectations, because it's a name from Welsh mythology, actually. So it's a, it's a mythological name that I'm very familiar with. I'm familiar with what owned that name and, and, and a lot of other details about it, actually. So this has set me up with, unfortunately, a lot of expectations. So just... I guess this this little little comment is is more a just a warning about how sometimes very innocuous details like a name can spoil quite a lot potentially. I mean, it could you know completely not be what I'm thinking it's going to be, but uh, sometimes sometimes without any any intention, you can end up spoiling a lot more than you meant to. So that's just a oh. Okay, we've done something. Music has suddenly changed. That's just a little bit of a warning there. And again, thank you very much for trying your best to keep me from uh, missing out on anything. You going out first, Nick? What do you see? Is there anything bad? I see search. I see, I see, okay. People of the Commonwealth. Yes? Do not interfere. Our uh, intentions are peaceful. Really? Is that why you brought a bunch of vertebrates and what looks like a hovering gunship? Also, is that uh, armor in there? We are oh no! The okay. Brotherhood of Steel. You don't say. Steel spelt nod. I take it. Peace through power. Yes. Yes. I suspect so. Nick. I think they were all right. That was definitely not something that I wanted to miss. Also, we just found a new military frequency. I think. Whoa, 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 I've got a black bat and I'm not afraid to use it. That's right, keep on Deep going, fella. darkness peering. Long I stood there. Wondering. Fearing. Hmm. I suppose this does have a special importance to you, doesn't it? Given that you're a synth and, well, the Brotherhood of Steel. Not not exactly known for, for, for being kind to your kind, I suppose. But wow, that is... That is glorious. I do kind of wish that I'd walked in on that myself without any foreshadowing, but I would have simply walked this 
off camera and I would have been kicking myself for missing that. So thank you again for everyone who warned me about that. And again, thank you to the person who did, with, without any intention, accidentally spoil a little bit of it. It's not quite what I was expecting, I'll be honest, given the name, but at the same time, it is quite fitting of the name. So, it, you know, it's not that far off either. And I'm not going to spoil it for anyone else. Those of you who are desperate to know can, of course, go and check out the comments on the last video. But uh, no, I, I think you probably want to, to wait out. I'm assuming that's what the name was referring to, because it definitely would be fitting. But uh, okay, so Nick, you and I, we've got a lot of stuff we need to do. But before we go anyway, let's uh, check on... Did we not find any radio signal? Military frequency AF. Nine five. Repeating. Yes. Paladin dance on frequency nine five. All Brotherhood of Steel units are to return to the Cambridge Police Station immediately for reassignment. Okay. Well, I'm not a Brotherhood Repeating. of Steel. Uh, oh. Military unit, so I guess I don't have to go. But I suspect maybe I should. Um, report to Paladin Dance. Uh, I mean, hmm, maybe. What, what is that character doing? After observing a huge Brotherhood of Steel airship pass overhead, my Pip-Boy radio is receiving a transmission. I should listen to it for further instruction. Well, maybe I'll go and chat with Paladin Dance. Maybe he's happy. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's a little bit concerned about this showing up. Who knows? Either way, I should probably not take you with me, should I? Yeah, that might be, uh, that might be encouraging some badness honestly okay you know what let's you and i i did really want to explore this town a little bit more but instead we're gonna head over to sanctuary i'm gonna drop off all the stuff you're carrying and i'm gonna go alone i'm tempted to take rufus with me but no i'm gonna go on my own i'm at a level now where i could conceivably take the lone wanderer perk so I might do that, or I might take one of my other um, companions with me, such as Preston. Where is Bone Dragon? There is Bone Dragon. Right. Hey, could you please give me everything you're carrying? And by everything, I really do mean everything, but I'm just not going to take it all, because otherwise I'll take your gun. I would love it if a mod would stop that behavior. That would be glorious if that would not occur. There we go. Anything else? No. Right, okay. Now, these are what I really want to take. Mine, the Fat Man, definitely. Yes, I know I'm carrying too much. The Fat Man is, well, as the name implies, rather rather large, let's say. And that's oh, yeah. it. Okay, thank you. Right, let's go ahead. Store all junk. That's first and foremost. We are now not quite below the uh, limit. Where are we going to find the Fat Man? Yeah, we're going to get rid of all of these. You can all go. We're going to take that apart. That can go in there. The Fat Man is definitely going to stay. I will come back and, and take all of these apart at some point. I want to check out Kellogg's pistol. Uh, I would like to send over three of them. There we go. And two of these. All the pulse grenades can go. The quick hardened combat shotgun. Now that's going to get a name in this episode. When it was suggested, the name that was actually suggested, I just kind of slapped my head. I was like, oh, that is such an obvious name. Why didn't I even think of it? It's not actually a name of a person. They supplied a different name. But honestly, I feel that it is the best name that we could, we could possibly have for a shotgun. But we'll we'll uh, do that first then. It is going to be named. Uh, let's have a look. Can I put anything else on? I don't think so. So, where are you? Rename. Boomstick. I mean, so obvious, so elegant. Right, the compensated, calibrated, powerful ten millimeter pistol. This I want to modify mostly to take off the sharpshooter grip. We'll just put a regular standard grip there. I don't mind hey, using a steel in the screw. Right out. I will definitely do that. Standard magazine as well. That's fine. Uh, let's 
got a standard side. Don't need to worry about that. The compensator. I'm going to give you no muzzle. The long ported barrel. Can I actually make those? No, I cannot. So I'll give you whichever one takes the least. The short barrel. Day in the Apparently I had a couple of those. Calibrated powerful receiver. Sure. There we go. Now, it can be safely broken down. So we're going to just flat out scrap that one. All right, Kellogg's pistol. Let's have a look at you. It's 84 damage on this, if I did that. Fires ammunition that I don't have much of, though. A bull barrel. Improved hip fire accuracy. Requires gun up three to put on there. My lord. I, I can't really put What's anything that? on this. Better focus the sighted accuracy. No. It's fine. Um, I'm not sure I'd ever really use it. That's the thing with this one. I think that's one for storing for now. That said... Actually... Cancel that. That said, it is quite a, a Guns, nice computers, people. A nice gun to bring along, tools. just in case I want to use a pistol for very high damage. Because let's have a look at Bone Dragon. It's half as much damage, but it's got a significantly more ammo. Hmm. Right. Well, I definitely want to change this one. This place is really coming together, huh? I can't take all the credit. We could have a larger crank on it. Oh, we could just wait. I was hoping that I could just basically take it apart until I had a non-musket version of it. Doesn't seem that I can do that, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, well, in that case, I'm just going to drop it off. I'm, I'll find someone who wants it later on. This gyro-compensating lens, no muzzle. Medium scope, standard grip, automatic barrel, photon exciter, don't really care about those. You can just be scrapped at this point. Okay. We'll store the rest. Uh, so... Kellogg's pistol, you can be stored. I'll possibly take you out at some point, but not for now. Right, now, armor-wise, let's have a quick glance at this, shall we? Right, we've got a safe cracker's, crackers girded left arm. Current mods, pocketed, painted, muffled, uh, metal leg. I could put pocketed on there, but I don't particularly want to. Sharp lever left leg. Sprinters painted, current mods. See, that one is just such a good one to have there. Eh? Combat leather arm. Nah, going up against the safe crackers, I don't think it, it could possibly be better than that, so... I'm just going to store this. Let's get all of these stored for now. Okay. You know what? Let's have a look. What can I actually craft? I can do a couple of things. I can repair them. Yeah, sure. Repair it. I can repair it all, apparently. There we go. Can I modify them as well? I can't put any uh, specific mods there. Model B. Improves damage and energy resistance. Material mod, military paint, increases strength, charisma, reduces damage from explosives. Nothing I can do there. Headlamp. And give it different colours. Red, tactical. Adds a vault boy headlamp. That sounds kind of awesome. Yeah, sure, let's pop that on there. 
let's see. There's not really much else I want to put on here. Chris's charisma with all pieces painted. I guess I could do that for now. Since it requires nothing. I go for model B. No, we'll pop that one on there. No miscellaneous. There we go. I wonder what the model B would look like. Doesn't actually change much about it, honestly. Other than the the stats, but I mean, it doesn't visually change it, which is a bit of a shame. But it actually doesn't cost me much to do, so I may as well upgrade all of them to Model Bs. There we are. Uh, let's make this one a Minuteman as well. And a Model B. And finally you. It'd be nice to get a lot of different suits that I could paint different colours, honestly. Actually, could the torso have any interesting mods? Yes, it can. Blood cleanser. Reduces the chance for addiction from drugs. My lord, that's rather interesting. Well, no, I guess we'll keep that as is for now. Well, that'll do. I'm not going to take it out just yet, but uh, glad to have set it up all the same. I like it. I certainly do. Okay, well, uh, let's actually check. Do I have any caps in here? Weapons, apparel, aid, miscellaneous. I've got 44 bottle caps, okay. I'll just throw those away. Realistically, there's no point in having them there. I'll drop off all these mods. Okay, I'll drop that off as well. All this junk. You building a collection or something? Yeah, actually, a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Wasn't really intended to do that, but may as well since I was here. All right, well, how's everything going on in here? I'm thinking that I wouldn't mind adding a little uh, magazine rack. There we go. Let's find... Miss, uh, it won't be that. Stores? No, it won't be that either. Decorations, perhaps? Miscellaneous? Is there going to be a magazine stand in here? Not seeing one. Wall decorations? Probably not going to be there. Floor coverings is not going to be that. Furniture, then. Miscellaneous. Magazines? No. Right. Containers. Might be magazines here. Nothing yet. Try it again. Maybe show... Ah, there we are. Okay. Now, I don't want anyone to buy these, but... I'm willing to let my em employees have a bit of a read. Maybe I should save this for up top. Wherever I build up there can have the magazine stand. Uh... Nah, no, I'm alright with that. Let's see, can I get in there? Just about there, perhaps? Yeah, that'll do. Perfect. Ah, what did I just do? I always seem to do that. There we go. What I want is escape. It teaches me to use... Tab for almost everything. And then lies about that. You can't store that here. Really? What? Oh, right. I see. <laughs> because I'm an idiot. Can't store that here either. Right, let's go through all of this until we find the magazines. Dutchman's instructions. I need to go and drop that off somewhere. Grognak the Barbarian. Guns and bullets. Let's find any more. Picket fences. Robco fun. Anything else? Another bobblehead. 
Got quite a few to drop off. Tattoos. Tales of Junktown Jerky Vendor. Tesla Signs. Total Hack. Turret Override Program. We'll keep hold of that one. COVID Operations Manual. My lord. Wasteland Survival Guide. I had loads of these on me. I had no idea. Oh, look at that. If you ain't been up How to awesome secret, is that? You should go. Whole place is run by robots. That's fantastic. I like it. Right, let's go drop off a couple of things on the bobblehead, and then we should be good to go. There we are. Transfer. All of my bobbleheads. Of course, it's not going to be that easy, is it? Where are you? Speech bobblehead. I think that's all the ones I had. Too many there we go. These Fantastic. Count on violence to solve their problems. You only have to look around to see where. Excuse me, Sturgis. Need to get through. Sturgis, thank you. Right. Okay. Well, I want to go and chat with Paladin Dance. But I feel, Nick, you're going to need to uh, hang hey. tight. I think. As funny as it would be taking you to see the uh, Brotherhood of Steel, I don't think. I want you to be hurt. Wait there. I'll stay put. Actually, I want to talk Nick, to you instead. Nick, is something bothering you? Yeah. I think we need to part ways. It's about time for you to go, Nick. Sure. Suppose I'll head on home then. Uh, no, you can you can hang out at the sanctuary. Okay, take care, Nick. Right now, it is time for us to make our way. Back toward Cambridge Police Station. However, I'm going to do a bit of a scenic route. And we're going to head on down here. Go to Su Sunshine Tidings Co-op. And then across to Cambridge Police Station. But I'm going to do it on my own. Somewhere along the way, we're going to get a level. We're not very far off it. And when we do, we're going to be taking this. Which will give us 30% less damage and increase our carrying weight by a hundred. That is actually quite a lot. So hopefully that'll make it worth it. I could take Rufus, but um, I really don't think. I uh, I mean, I'd like his companionship, but no. I, I think it's time for me to, to wander out by myself for now. Okay, well, I shall see you in the next episode where I will be making my way through the unforbidding wilderness. But until then... Do take care.